thank the gentleman from Iowa for leading this discussion to have an opportunity to say some things about my friend Leonard Boswell across the floor. And uh, I reflect uh, a number of things. In 1996, I aspired to run for the Iowa Senate. I got there just as Leonard Boswell was elected to come here to the United States Congress. And uh, I got to know a little bit about the area that he came from and traveled down in that a good number of times. And little did I know that a few years later, I would arrive here in this United States Congress, some six years later, uh, representing not Congressman Boswell, not Lieutenant Colonel Boswell, but his cows. And uh, I have stopped along a number of times and looked across the landscape, and I wonder what makes a man the man that he is. And coming from Iowa, especially rural Iowa, and growing up in the hills like I did, and uh, walking through those hills and working in that soil and, and having my hands on a lot of things that are the origins of new wealth, you understand what makes a man who he, who he is when you see the landscape that he came from. And that landscape down there in Decatur County, it's a little hilly. It raises a lot of grass. We, where I come from, don't always think it's the best corn ground, but they're doing better down there with the new hybrids. And so uh, now I'm seeing that the character of the man that served in this Congress these years, these 16 years, and served in the United States Army for, I believe, 20 years, the character of the man that took the controls of helicopters time after time as an assault helicopter pilot in Vietnam uh, was formed and shaped in the hills that today I have the privilege to represent and that feed those cows that wander out there in that pasture land that won't probably as often go down into that neighborhood to check on, but I'm glad to know that Congressman Leonard Boswell will have some time to check on those cows because I know he loves them and takes care of them. I also had the privilege of making the trip to go to Vietnam as um, Congressman Boswell was going back to Vietnam for the first time since the end of his second deployment there. And he asked me if I would sit in front behind the glass with him as we went all around Vietnam through Saigon, out through the streets of Saigon, out into the countryside, out on a boat on the Mekong River. And as we looked at how the country had changed and the population of Saigon had gone from one million to seven million during that interim period of time since Leonard so nobly, bravely, and patriotically uh, flew over that landscape. And uh, everybody that he served with didn't come back, but more people came back because of Leonard Boswell, and I know that. And I heard some of those stories because I pulled a few of them out, but it's not something that he's brought out front, not something that he's worn on his sleeve. It's something within the character of the man that sits here with us today. And it's part of the character of the man that served Iowans and Americans in the United States Congress these 16 years. And for this time, I've had the privilege to serve with him, a decade for me. I'm grateful for those times. We've always been able to work together and served on the Ag Committee together all of that time. And there's been a, a certain communication that has gone on that was often unspoken, even in committee, when we look over across each other and somehow... Leonard Boswell would know what I was thinking, and I think I knew what he was thinking, and that worked pretty good for Iowans, and it worked pretty good for Americans, and it worked pretty good for agriculture. So I congratulate you, Leonard Boswell, on your service to our country all of these years. It's been a stellar career, and it's not over. There's a future also of service that I know will continue every day. And I certainly I'll keep you in my prayers and in our memories here as I thank you for serving the United States of America and serving here in the United States Congress and serving Iowans the way that you have. And I yield back.